Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. First, I want to thank you for your interest in our Sonic backup application. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation and setup instructions to get the Sonic backup application to begin backing up your Sonic Wall firewalls. The first thing we have to do is make some changes within our Sonic Wall firewall. First, under Network, Interfaces, we want to go to our LAN interface. We're going to assume that Sonic Backup is going to connect to the Sonic Wall firewall through the LAN interface and select Configure. And for management, we want to check the SSH box because SSH is how the Sonic Backup application will talk to the firewall and select OK. Now, if you were going to back up a firewall that's remote, uh, you can go into the WAN interface and enable the SSH settings, and the application can access the firewall remotely that way. And our next step is we have to create an account so that Sonic Backup can log into the Sonic Wall via SSH to perform the backup. So under Users, go to Local Users. And we need to create an account for the Sonic Backup application to log into the Sonic Wall. So we're going to select Add User. The username and password can be anything that you want it to be. So we're just going to put in Sonic Backup, for example. Enter in the password and confirm it. Then select Groups. And we want to add it to the Sonic Wall Administrators group. And select OK. Now the firewall is set up and ready to be backed up by Sonic Backup. So let's go ahead and switch over to the application and I'll show you how to add the unit. Okay, inside Sonic Backup we want to select Add Firewall. And for the name it can be any name that you want to give it. In this case we'll just call it a Lab Firewall. In Description, once again you can describe its location or any additional information about the firewall. Now we need to enter the LAN IP or host name for the firewall that we're backing up. If you enabled SSH on the LAN interface, then we'll want to give it a LAN IP address. Or if you enabled SSH on the WAN interface, we can put in the WAN IP address, or you can use a fully qualified domain name. Now you want to put in the username and password of the admin account that we just created a minute ago and select save. Now that we have the firewall in the application we can go ahead and do a quick test by selecting backup now and switch to the backup log tab you'll see the log messages will start showing what's going on. We can see that Sonic Backup's logging in, it's performing the backup, and the backup was performed successfully. If, for example, you have an incorrect IP address or a bad username and password, uh, it will not execute the backup and you'll get all kinds of error messages. So you want to go back and double check uh, those two main settings on the firewall. Now that we know that we can do the backups, we can go ahead and select a schedule. So under Firewalls, select New Schedule, and in here you can create the schedule that you want to to back up this particular unit. Once you have the settings done, click Save. And now the Sonic Wall is set up and ready to do a backup on a scheduled basis. Okay, uh, we hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and getting the Sonic Backup application running. If you're still running into any problems, please drop us an email at support at firewalls.com. All right, have a great day.